everybody, this is Robert Volt Avos here with another episode, well not another episode, this is the first episode of um, Stardew Valley. I don't know if you guys can hear me, so I'm going to mute the volume. Um, sorry about that, but it was actually rather loud. And um, so this is Stardew Valley, and this is going to be the new series that we are starting and this will probably be on Thursdays and Sundays. Um, I had actually decided it, it was I was wanting to do Divinity 2 because I had played that game. I had started playing that game, and that game is just awesome. But uh, I can't play it yet. I need to ask for permission. But it, I will play it hopefully sometime soon. Um, so our name is going to be Vault Avos. Of course, um, cat or a dog. I like dogs. And we're going to be male. Uh, let's go with, you'd be really pale. Let's go with, I want to go back to one. You could be blue, purple, red. Okay. So we'll go ahead and go with one hairstyle. Uh, I like to look at the side. Sure. Uh, maybe not actually. <laughs> that, uh, I'm not too fond of that hairstyle. Ooh, we could do that. We could be. Never mind. Look like one of the characters. That works. We look kind of like an anime character. Uh, shirt. I I I'm gonna go with just a regular shirt. Oh, we can't change the color. Um, let's go with that. Why not? And I'm fine with the pants. Oh, oh. We can give ourselves facial hair. I like that. Oh, we gotta do. Forgot the farm and the farm name. Um. What do we want to name this farm? Or we will be Vault and this will be the Avos farm. Yes. And our favorite thing, um, our favorite thing is fighting. I like fighting in games. Or games. I could never mind. We'll just we'll just go ahead and start. Um, we do not want to skip the intro. So let's go ahead. Jump on in. And for my very special grandson, which is us. Yes? I want you to have this sealed envelope. Oh, poor grandpa. He doesn't look too well. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. I like that sword up there above the fireplace. Oh, now listen close. I'm not paying attention. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not listening. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Um, I already do. Already do. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Our bright spirit will fade like the fires on in the fireplace. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. I, I'm ready now. Now let Grandpa rest. Okay, Grandpa. Is that 20 years later? That's what it looks like. Joja! Join us. Thrive. Work. Rest. Uh, apparently we have to work. There were some people standing over us. Watching. Terminated. He's been terminated. It looks kind of like Woody. Um, Woody from Toy Story. And there's us. I think, oh, that person is dead over there, all the way to the right. Oh, we look kind of frustrated. I never noticed the dead guy over there. Uh, I only, I've only started this game once. Um, I think, I think it's time. We have control now. I don't think we can do anything with these. So let's go to the letter. Dear Vault, 
If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to this, that place, my pride and joy, Avos Farm. It is the family farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name. My boy, good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me. Will you? Well, I, I think Grandpa's dead. So, okay. I guess we'll still say hi. Hi, Lewis. So here we are. On the road. On our way to Stardew Valley. It looks very mountainous. Stardew Valley, half a mile. 0.5 me. My. Oh, it's a birdie. Hello, little birdie. Aren't you a nice looking little birdie? Oh, that's kind of loud. That was weird. Hello, Robin. Hello, you must be Vault. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mary Lou sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. This is kind of loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Or not. I won't turn it down, I guess. I wonder if this does anything. I don't know if this affects you guys any, but it certainly helps my eardrums from exploding. Uh, the farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Okay, we'll follow you, Robin. Oh, this place is a mess. <laughs> I just realized we look really funny. Uh, this is Avo's farm. Yeah, it looks like a nightmare. Thank you. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Kind of beat up. Oh, it's Mary Lewis. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. That's nice. What kind of a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rusty. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a giant hole there. Looks like some holes here and there. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Rusty might be a little more apt, though. That's, yeah, rude. But it was funny. I'm fine. It's okay. Don't listen to her, Vault. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, yep. Yeah. Happy about that. So it must have been true. Um, anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. I I don't want to. Can I be a loner? Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Thanks. I suppose, and she's leaving as well. Okay, so we are beginning our first day. So this episode, yeah, I already know how. I already know how. Go away. Um, I'm going to turn everything down. I had done it earlier, but it was on my other file, and I guess it didn't affect this one. Um, that should be a lot better. I was speaking kind of loudly, just in case could not be heard. Introduction, so we need to meet the other people. So first, uh, what is this? <gasps> what? No way! I don't think... That must have been from an update. 
Um, I don't think you get a box with parsnips in it whenever I first started, and you just kind of had to go with it. Uh, there's a weather report, and there's, it tells you um, what it all is next day. I, I'll probably be skipping a lot, because you can tell if you look in this little box what the weather's going to be like. Um, fortune teller tells you how good your luck is. Um, I think it affects... Uh, maybe the kind, the rarity of the fish you catch, I'm not entirely certain about that, um, probably affects what you get whenever you go mining, and I'm pretty sure it affects what uh, you get whenever cracking geodes. Uh, I don't really use the fortune teller because it doesn't really bother me. Living off the land is pretty important. Uh, we're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for Wild Forge to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Sweet, thank you. So the first few episodes of this are going to be a bit, um, I don't want to say dull. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it dull. More like, uh, what can we craft actually? Okay, so we can get a chest. We need to start chopping wood. Um, it's going to be more slow because we're just now starting out. We don't have anything. And I just realized I have to keep track of my energy now. And it takes forever to cut everything. Uh, okay, so our energy is over here. Uh, our gold, time of day, time, uh, weather, season, and we have our days and everything um yeah i just realized that this is going to drive me nuts the game that i'm playing on i have some pretty good upgraded tools so i'm probably going to be hacking at stuff that i can't hack at like this stump we can't hit it because our axe isn't strong enough um, we're going to cut down some trees let's see we need 50. 50 wood? Yep. Um, <laughs> so we're going to cut these trees down. Cut all this. And this is all a mess. I don't remember everything being this bad. But it's okay. Our farm isn't going to be very big, though, since our energy is almost halfway through and we haven't done anything. Hey, give me that. Thank you. Um, how much wood do we have? 46. Yeah, so whenever I first started playing this, um, like I said, you don't get the parsnips right off the bat. Or I don't remember getting the parsnips right off the bat. I think I had to go run around, do stuff to make money. To buy parsnips. Because stuff is not... Well, it's cheap. It's cheap enough, I suppose. And I already kind of have a plan on what I'm going to do with the farm. Uh, can't right now because we don't have the ingredients or the recipe to make it. But I was going to have our farm be kind of automatic. That way it leaves us open to do other things. So we're not going to introduce ourselves to people this episode. We're just going to start on our farm right away. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this game is similar to Harvest Moon, if you've ever played that, which is an awesome series. Okay, so we're going to put our farm right here. Uh, actually, first let's make a chest. Right there. We don't need any of these. Uh, so, what's cool about this is not only can you make, put down stuff that's useful, like the chest and the fences and gates, but you can also put down aesthetic things. Uh, the campfire and the torch, they do give off a light, but it's not really something you need. So we're going to dump all of that in there, and we're going to start tilling our field. Um, I think I'm going to do by a 3x3 three by 
five, two, three, four, five, two, three, to start things off. And I'm probably only going to make these episodes about a day long, an in-game day. It's about 20 minutes, I think. Oh, watering is going to be annoying. Could have watered all of this in one shot. But we'll get there. Eventually. Um, so, we're, let's explore around our farm a little bit. To kind of show you the area that we are working with. Um, this game is... I don't want to say new. It's not really new anymore. Well, sort of is. It's been around for a little bit. A few months, I think. So it's not brand new, but still fairly new. Okay, so we have our own little pond. Got some stuff this way. Picked up some mixed seeds, which we might actually plant. Because those can be fairly useful. That's what we should do. We should just run around cutting these things. Picking up mixed seeds. Oh, there is something I want to do. Um, so, see, you just... We got, we got plenty of room to work with. Plenty of room. Up around here. Um, okay, I'm going to cut our way through here. Or we can try and make our way out of here. And head into town. So, we can actually look at the notice board. Uh, the notice board. Oh, let's plant some of these seeds. We're just going to make it like this for now. Uh, those look like parsnips. So we got more parsnips, it looks like. Ooh. Only clay. There, there were some wiggly worm looking things there and underneath those there are items. Get a daffodil. Um, sometimes there are like ancient relic, not relics, but um, artifacts. That's what it is. Okay, so here is the notice board area. We got a calendar. Nobody's birthday is coming up. And nothing is posted. Um, on the calendar, or for birthdays, you give people items on their birthday, and they like you more. So, here is Leia. Nice to meet you, Leia. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Nice, thanks. Picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Oh, cool. Ooh, there's a backpack. Cost 2,000. It... It is for, um... It increases our inventory size. Uh, we could get more plants, actually. I don't really want to do that. You can get uh, fruit trees, flooring and wallpaper for your house. And that's for cooking. And then you can also get some uh, more plants. No, I didn't... I didn't mean to get that. Whoops. But we'll plant it, I guess. Hey, it's Mr. Vault, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. Also buy produce from you for a good price. Sweet, thank you. So let's see, is there anybody... Oh, we can't go into people's rooms. Because we're not friends. Let's see if there's anybody up here. Nope. So I guess we'll start introducing ourselves, ourselves to people now. Also explore the town a little bit. Uh, this game is really fun. I have posted some pictures of it on Twitter. Oh, we can also search garbage cans. People don't like it if you do that, though. They think it's gross. Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Hi, George. I like George. Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Hmm. See if his... Oh, there's, um... Alex. Can't talk to him because he's in his room. <sighs> so annoying. People just trap themselves in there. It's Penny! Hi, Penny. Hi. 
She's shy. Oh, did you want something? Uh, I actually married Penny in the game that I'm playing. Um, who else can we meet? All the shops over here are closed. All the shops are closed, period. So let's go in here. Uh, actually, we've already introduced ourselves to Mayor Lewis. Oh, there's Maru. Hi, Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. That's nice. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Interesting. Oh, here's Evelyn. She is George's wife. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Walking away. Uh, who else can we talk to? Oh, there's another dandelion. Or daffodil. Dandelion. Whatever. It all looks the same to me. Um, nobody's in here, it looks. Search the trash can. Um, it's actually inter- Hi, Vincent! I'm not doing anything. Didn't realize you were close enough. Oh, a stranger! My name's Vincent! Mama says not to talk to strangers. You seem okay. Yeah, that's how it always goes. Strangers and brown jackets and... Never mind. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Oh, you still got more to say. Hmm. If it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. Uh, our clothes do look kind of bad. And our hair. Our hair looks messed up. I'm starting to understand why people look are looking at me funny. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined. <laughs> I, you know, if I saw someone, if I saw myself like this, I, I probably would be concerned. Uh, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Nice to meet you, Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. I, I realize that our character looks like he just woke up, got out of bed, put some clothes on, and left. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. That's it. That's all you gotta say. Short, sweet, to the point, I guess. Do we research this trash can? Uh, as I was saying before Vincent caught us snooping in the garbage, um, I was searching the mayor's trash can one day whenever I was playing this, and I found a diamond. A diamond in the trash can. I thought that was pretty funny that he threw away a diamond. Oh, it's Alex. Alex, wait. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. See ya. See ya. Okay, we already searched that. Uh, why are you digging in the trash? Why not? There's cool stuff in the trash. We found some broken sunglasses. Oh, here's Shane. Hi, Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Why not? Just being friendly. Um, so this is the pub. Or the tavern, or whatever you want to call it. You can play games. Games are fun. I hate this game. So much. I got really good. I got to the second stage. I thought I was done. And then I lost. And I was so... I was so upset. Um, anyway. We're gonna stop playing that. Before I get caught up in it, and then I get mad. Because I don't want to do that. Here's Pam. This is Penny's mom. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Hey, kid, I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Oh, okay. That's all you gotta say. This is, um... Gus. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon, right? Stardew Saloon? I, I skipped it. Hi there, Vault. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. That's nice. He's gonna say the same thing. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Hello, Emily. This is uh, Haley's sister. I don't think... 
Gus is married to anyone. I don't think so. So we are probably going to head back home. Uh, we can't really meet everyone else now. Since it's late, everybody stays home. Oh, we need to plant this cauliflower seed. Forgot about that. And we can probably throw the rest of this stuff in the chest. I might have to put some of our tools in the chest, too. I'm used to having a lot more room. Nice, we got some clay. Now we will plant a cauliflower and throw all of this in the chest. Um, I think we can do a little bit more. Clear this out a little bit. I've noticed that whenever you use the scythe, it doesn't take any energy to use. But everything else... Yeah, we did it. We did it! Okay, so that's enough energy. Uh, the day's pretty much over. And so this is the first episode. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Next episode, we will probably um, introduce ourselves to the rest of the community. Uh, they're kind of spread out, too. Um, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I will... I just blinked on everything. So, take care, and God bless.